Hi, my name is Gabby Guillory, and for my worship site project, I went to the Tem Temple Emmanuel Sister of Synagogue, located at 8500 Hillcrest Avenue. The Temple Emmanuel is a Jewish temple of worship. It is also founded in 1875. It was also the first Jewish congregation in North Texas. The first building for the Temple Emmanuel was built in 1899, but it was relocated to its location now in 1957. Today, the congregation is led by Rabbi David E. Stern. I chose to do my project on the Temple Emmanuel because it's very close to my house and also I babysit some children who actually are not Jewish themselves but went to Temple Emmanuel preschool for about two or three years and they've loved it. So I felt like I should investigate it. I first walked into the temple and immediately had no idea where to go. I kind of started off on my own by just seeing the word temple and walking into their place of worship. It was a Saturday afternoon, so there weren't very many people there, and it was also close to a holiday, so there wasn't very many staff there. I originally, and then I went to the front desk and introduced myself as a guest and said that I was doing a research project for Richland Community College and things got to be a little different. At first I was greeted with hi and how you doing and then once I told them I was a guest I was given more restrictions I was not allowed to go out of the eyesight of the front desk lady. Um, I had to ask multiple times to speak to someone. They were originally not too happy that I hadn't made an appointment, even though it said office hours for the rabbi were on Saturdays from 2 to 4. So I had to just kind of roll with that. Finally, after about 15 minutes of repeatedly asking if there's anybody that I could talk to and then the lady was talking to people um, around her other people who worked in the temple and she was like oh do you think Becky or not Becky I think Caroline's here and she's like oh no she won't see people who aren't in the congregation which I thought was odd but I just kind of rolled with that and finally, I got to speak to a lady named Becky. When I went to Temple Emmanuel, I spoke with a woman named Becky Slackman. She, I actually had interviewed her, and she was the Director of Adult Learning Arts and Culture. So she was very well versed in all of the synagogue's practices and daily life. She had been working there for four years, and she told me a lot about the building, and their building is full of art, and I asked her her favorite, and she said her favorite was David Chagall, and there was beautiful portraits just hanging on the walls. Miss Slackman also took me into the archives room, where she showed me, um, scrolls of the Torah, and also a beautiful silver menorah. There are 20 800 families 
that worship at the Temple of Manuel, and most of the services are done inside the Stern Chapel, which was recently built. The building was recently renovated. It had moved to its place on Hillcrest Avenue in 1957, but in 2010, an architect named Gary Cunningham, who had graduated from Cistercian Academy, um, renovated it for, and it was a $34 million project. It's a beautiful modern building with all white on the outside and there's a lot of wood inside um, there he created the new Stern Chapel which was a five million dollar project and the renovation of the Olan and Lefkowitz chapels were also part of the plan while I did not go while there were worship services being performed I was there for a choir practice and they were beautiful the churches have, or the synagogue has a beautiful choir loft up in two of the three chapels that I saw, and they were singing their hymns, and it was lovely to hear. In the archives room, there was also a timeline that was very expansive. It had all kinds of of important things throughout history as well as a timeline for the Temple Emmanuel itself. It had things um, like Barack Obama's presidency as like global things that were on the timeline and also it had when the Temple Emmanuel was on the South or in South Dallas and whenever it moved to Hillcrest in 1957.